What's up everybody? Today we are installing the trailer hitch on the RAV4. Two weeks ago I ordered a trailer hitch. It came and the bracket that goes on the passenger side was bent. And this is 516 steel. I, with my tractor, I tried so many different things to bend it back. I don't have the tools to heat it up to bend it. So I had to send it on back to the company and they sent me a new one. Hopefully, it looks good. It doesn't look bent. And to install this on this RAV, 2010 Toyota RAV4, it is a super easy appearing process. I say appearing because whenever I think something's easy, it turns into a nightmare. But there's three holes. My umbrella just took a flight. There's three holes on either side that line up with three holes in the frame of the RAV. So it should just be plug up, screw in, call it a day. We'll find out together. First thing you'll want to do for removing it is remove this, I think it's a support bracket. <laughs> It's two 17s and with my, they came out super easy with my torque wrench. Of course, of course it could not be as easy as it should have been. So of the five pre-threaded holes that exist, the only two that are usable right now are the ones that were part of that support bracket. So, I'm on my way to Harbor Freight right now to get a tap and die set. Hopefully there is work, it's a $40 set. But I am off to get that because I need to tap out the hole. I'm not seeing the 60 piece set anywhere. Oh, I'm gonna have to go ask someone. All right, so I ended up, I got the tap and die set. I also saw these as I was walking around, a little brush set that goes on my, it will fit my impact. So I grabbed those cause it will help I can clear the rust before I re-tap the hole and get everything on. So we are headed home. So that did not work. The set didn't actually have the one I needed, which I couldn't have known without the set. So that's a plus, but I need a 13 millimeter, 1.25 thread. And that had a 13 millimeter 1.5 thread. So that thread was just a little too large. But I also couldn't. I also couldn't use the tap to re thread it. I'm kind of thinking that. Kind of thinking that. It's going to need a <clears throat> bigger, bigger bolt. So we're going to have to like resize it by threading larger. So I'm going to call my dad, talk to him, see what he thinks and his thoughts on it. Or just call it a day. The biggest reason I wanted to put a trailer hitch on the RAV is that there's no good bike rack for the RAV4. 
and my girlfriend wants to take the kids, you know, biking. And other than the small bike our daughter currently has that barely fits in the back, so she can't bring her bike, she can't bring the bike trailer. Now we're, got, you know, we have two kids, so none of that will work. So, I don't know what the next steps are. I don't want to give up. I want to install that hitch. The GoPro died, so I'm gonna throw in some cell phone footage. You can see here is where the support bracket came from. And if you look up in there, sorry, oh, wrong. The threads are nice. You can see the threads. I'm trying to focus on it. You can see those nice clean threads. Bolt threads, no fine. You look here. They are just rusted to all hell. My worry is that if we were to even recut these, that the thread material that'd be left in the new threads would be so brittle that this would fail. And while we have two bolts right here on this side, on the passenger side they're both like this and that would not be good it'd basically be you know basically only half of this could be up here's another pre-thread hole like there's nothing there so I think and again I'm gonna talk to my dad I think We can cut this hole bigger, go up a bolt size, just one size bigger, and then basically cut new threads into the good metal that's, you know, cut through the rust, basically. I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to him to see what he thinks about that, because he has like 40 years experience with this kind of stuff, and I'm just figuring stuff out so I will keep you guys up to date and hopefully we'll have a how-to video on how to install all of this especially since this vehicle it's a 2010 turned 2021 so this is at least at least 12 year old vehicle since it probably came out in 09 and this is what it looks like I don't know why they didn't just put thread in a bolt that does nothing and preserve those threads for for folks and make your life easier. Would that it would cost them a couple pennies to throw a bolt in there on on all of these. And then when someone comes to the dealership to have them install a hitch it's a 30 second process and they can pardon the wind it's a 30 second process not literally but figuratively and they could still and just charge them a flat fee because if those bolts are there this job would be done this job would have taken it would all look like this and it would have been drop this bracket slide up your your hitch on this side bang 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 go to that side bang bang done so it's a shame but it is what it is